How's it going guys? It's Paradise and I'm back with another Ghost of Tsushima video and another Hunter class build as well. I've done my previous build as well as my tips and things like that in other videos. So if you've already seen those, this is actually a new one and this is going to be based around using status damage and fire and AoEs to get an absolute ton of kills really easily. Super effective in the survival game mode, a little bit less in story. So this is more focused for the survival game game mode and people that are farming survival. It's so incredibly strong, it's absolutely OP in gold, it's still good in Nightmare, however of course Nightmare you're going to want to play with a pre-made group ideally. But for gold especially, this build is absolutely nuts. You can see that my Hunter is 110 on everything now, I have been farming quite a lot, I've been re-rolling my gear quite a lot, I've been trying out some different things and I found that this one is incredibly, incredibly strong. You will be getting tons of kills, especially Especially on the points and on the uh, spawning of the waves when they're all grouped together. So we're going to start off by going into the techniques. Of course we have our ultimate. Again that synergizes with the skipping stone bow. That's a basically a must have for every hunter build. Then we also have the explosive arrow. Now the explosive arrow is really important because we can buff the AoE of this with our gear later on which I'll show you guys and it also sets fire to everything inside of the AoE. So it's a really easy way to do a massive AoE fire, which is gonna absolutely destroy most enemies, especially in gold, like I say. So for the first perk, I really do like the Executioner, however for this one we are focusing on status, status damage and AoE clearing, so we are going to go with the 15% cooldown for our class ability. It's just going to mean that we can do our fire arrow a little bit more often effectively. Then of course the second perk we're going to do status damage, 25% extra status damage is just going to mean that our fire hurts even more. And then for our final perk, I'm going to be going with Pinpoint, it is such a good perk. We could go for the double legendaries and put something like Demon Seeds on or something like that. However, I really do think that uh, Pinpoint is worth keeping. That headshot proc with the ricochet of the Skipping Stone Bow works on every build in for the Hunter, so you really must have that on. It's, it's so, so good. So that's our perks. That's lining up everything for basically our explosive arrow doing big AoE. Uh, with reduced cooldown and increased status damage, but you can also re-roll your gear to get some particular perks that synergize really, really well with this. So for your katana, I think the water katana is actually the best one. It has shield breaker and the heavy attack basically works on every mob in the game. It's really quite powerful. So what you want to be re-rolling for this is essentially a perfect roll would be melee damage on the first one. I have parry window. I didn't get that lucky on the roll, and I've been using my resources on the other gear pieces more so, so I didn't want to waste too much on the katana, because you don't really use it that much on your hunter. Outside of Nightmare, that is, on Nightmare you will be meleeing more. Now for the second perk slot, you can either choose to go for ability cooldown reduction, and it goes up to 12%, or for up to 20% ultimate damage. I rolled ultimate damage, so that's just what I've been using, but I do think for this build, ability cooldown reduction at 12% if you get a lucky roll is going to be the absolute best. An extra cooldown reduction on top of that perk that we already picked is going to add together really nicely and let you spam those explosive arrows even more. But ultimate damage is pretty good too. Our ultimate's still really strong and the ricocheting adds into it. It's a whole thing, so... Ability cooldown better, ultimate damage is pretty good. Then for the actual uh, perk on the katana, you're going to want Way of the Flames. This lets you activate uh, like the flaming oil on your katana and lets you basically delete one or two mobs. And they can't do anything back to you because it sort of staggers them with the flaming and the fire damage. And of course all of our status damage goes into that. And basically if you melee something with Way of the Flame active, they just die in like two or three hits really quickly, really easily. It's really, really good. You can use burn Burning Blade as well, it's a, the perk listed on the right, it basically has a chance to ignite on melee. I found that Way of the Flame is a bit more reliable, you can activate it to take on an Oni or a big shielded enemy and it just deletes them really really quickly. So that's the Katana out of the way. Uh, the Skipping Stone Bow, you can't really get any perks on here that really affect like your status damage or your ability or your fire or anything like that. So really it's kind of up to you. I got a really good headshot and range damage roll on mine. I am using shield, piercing ammo, just because that's how it rolled for me. I do think headshot refunding is a lot better, especially for Nightmare. But 
Shield piercing ammo is pretty good too, and I got these two really good rolls, so I didn't really want to get rid of it, but I really do miss headshots refunding. So that's basically the the, uh, the bow. Again, it doesn't really have any perks that can synergize with the build, but don't worry because everything else does. So let's move on to the charm. The biggest thing for the charm is going to be fire master, the actual perk at the bottom, another 25% fire damage. And remember, we have 25% status damage from our hunter perk as well. So that's gonna make our fire even more deadly. This perk here, hunter ability radius, is an absolute huge one. This can roll between 50 and 100%. If you can get it close to 100%, then you are gonna be hitting absolutely every mob nearby where you shoot it. The radius increase is absolutely awesome and makes this build really insane with spreading fire to things. There is the option on here for your fire damage plus five to 12%. However, that hunter ability radius is gonna be doing so much work by spreading fire to more things that I do think the radius is actually going to be better. For the other perk, you can go for range damage or headshot damage here. I got draw speed. Draw speed is still a very decent roll. It's basically equivalent, it's an equivalent to attack speed. Um, but it's not quite attack speed. It affects how quickly you can pull the string before you release to get maximum damage on each shot. So draw speed's pretty decent. I would prefer to have range damage or headshot damage, but this is how it rolled for me. The most important ones for your hunter charm is going to be ability radius and fire master. You could experiment, like I said, with fire damage instead of ability radius, but trust me, when you have ability radius at like 70, 80, 90, or 100 percent, you really notice it and it's really, really strong. So that's our hunter charm. Then we're gonna go over to our sticky bomb. Now, what makes this so cool is that you can actually get the fired up perk to then make the things that get hit by your sticky bomb light on fire, which then synergizes with your fire master from the charm and your status damage perk from the build. It makes fire absolutely destroy things. So you basically need fired up. Uh, and then for your two perks, you can either go for damage increase or status effect duration. It's kind of up to you. They're both pretty good to go with. With damage increase, the sticky bomb does a lot of damage. And with status effect duration, it makes your fires last a bit longer. So that one is up to you. However, I would really suggest going for blast radius on at least one of the two perks. It just means that your sticky bomb is going to hit more things and set more things on fire. So in the event that you are on cooldown with your explosive arrow, your sticky bomb is a backup to do a huge crowd AOE damage and fire trigger so that they all just start burning to death. That is basically it for the sticky bomb. You want that blast radius, you want fired up, and then either status effect duration or damage increase. Then we go over to our final ghost weapon. This is the caltrops. These are really decent for when you get surrounded or for choke points or if a particular particularly dangerous oni or enemy is running towards you just drop your cow chops and they'll either lose aggro on you or just run into them and it will just destroy them and delete them because the cow chops actually do quite a lot of damage and furthermore you're going to want the fired up perk on this as well because it will then set them on fire which is then going into all of your fire perks and extra fire damage which will just destroy them. So I've gone for status effect duration so that it lasts a bit longer, the fire lasts a bit longer, and I've gone for damage increase. It just makes the caltrops a bit more damaging as well. So that is what I would go for on all of my perks. You can see that we can do fire damage with caltrops. We can do AOE fire damage with our sticky bomb. We have extra fire damage on our charm. We have extra ability radius on our charm to make our explosive arrow even huger. And then we have our katana with ultimate damage. But again, Again, you can actually change that ultimate damage for ability cooldown as well to get your explosive arrow up even more. Then with all of these together, you want to be the guy that is basically going for the spawns of the enemies. You want to be there when they're crowded together, when they're grouped up. You want to shoot your explosive arrow in there, throw your sticky bomb in there, use your flaming arrows with your skipping stone bow to ricochet headshots on the shielded enemies and the onis to trigger double fire and kill them all. And when you do this, you will be getting hundreds of kills. You will be deleting everything you'll be leading in kills basically every game and it's quite easy to do you just sit back <laughs> keep shooting your arrows shoot your explosive arrow and just set everything on fire and just get loads of kills it's really really awesome so guys let me know down in the comments what you think of this fire hunter build let me know what builds you have for either your hunter or your other classes i have still haven't really tried out the other classes that much I might start jumping into them and seeing what cool builds I can do that maybe outpaces the hunter, but I'm just enjoying the hunter so much that 
I don't really want to change away from it. But let me know down in the comments below. And of course, drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Paradise Central. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.